Today's episode is brought to you in part by Hulu Plus. If you didn't know, Hulu has a new look and experience that's more intuitive. Watch everything from Hulu originals like The Handmaid's Tale, Harlots, and Casual to full seasons of favorites like Fargo, Blackish, and Empire, all in one place with ease. And with a new option to add live TV, you can get limited commercials on the Hulu shows you love, as well as 50 plus live and on demand channels, starting at just $39.99 a month. You can also watch sports channels like ESPN, FS1, regional sports, news, and other can't miss events. Even record live TV with Cloud DVR. Enjoy all your TV in one place with the brand new Hulu experience. Go to Hulu.com to start your free trial today. Today's episode is also brought to you in part by the gang over at Rift Tracks. On June 15th, join the stars of MST3K, Mike Nelson, Kevin Murphy, and Bill Corbett, along with special guests, in movie theaters nationwide for a hilarious night of riffing on educational shorts. Broadcast live from the beach party capital of the South, Nashville. For locations and to purchase tickets, visit fathomevents.com slash shorts. R-I-F-F-T-R-A-X shorts. Enjoy the show. For you, I wish I could do the whole show backwards. <laughs> but I just cannot get it together for that. <laughs> Plus, how could I read the shitheads first? <laughs> I can just guess who they are, I guess. Oh, shit. Uh, hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug, and I love movies. <laughs> Wow, there's a particularly aggressive one in there. <laughs> kind of sounds like the ghost of Bill Paxton. <laughs> I love Bill Paxton. <laughs> this is Doug Lowe's Movies, man! <laughs> Coming to you once again from Cobb's Comedy Club in San Francisco! It's Saturday, June 10th, 2017, and this is our 37th show this year, and it's 400, 100, 146 days till Ragnarok. <laughs> and I've got a thirst for name tags. What's the name tag deal with you guys today? There's a lot of them, isn't there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bill and Ted's what? Phil and Ted. Oh, Phil and Ted. You're Phil? I'm Phil. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. You're so excited. I was backstage saying, I think there's going to be some overly excited people here today. <laughs> See, I knew that guy was going to be overly excited. I knew they were out here today. It's always, it's always interesting when that happens. Grudge Matt is a huge one. And you got big Burt Kreischer face on there. So let's just, great job with the name tags, everybody. I just want to get right to something because I don't want to take a lot of time with it, but um, Burt Kreischer is headlining Cobbs, the very club we're in uh, all this weekend long. And uh, I came by last night and his show was really fun. But uh, his family's with him here in San Francisco. And so he told me that he was unable to be a guest on the uh, show today. Yeah, I just wanted to get that out there because I saw Bert's name on that, his face on that, his big, huge face on that name tag. 
I mean, that huge name tag with Bert's face on it. And, and I was like, oh, okay, well, uh, you know, uh, people are going to be disappointed that Bert's not here because uh, that's how it works a lot of the time is you figure it out. You're a bunch of guest detectives. You're a bunch of guest dicks, and you figure out, <laughs> you figure out, or you think you figure out who's going to be here. So let's just call Bert on the phone, though, and just say hi to him. <laughs> I don't, I don't rarely try this sort of thing on the podcast because I'm, I'm terrible at it and it ends up not working out at all. But, uh, but in the case of Bird, I think we needed to make an exception. Is anybody coming back to see his shows later tonight? <laughs> see, that's another reason why there's an extra amount of enthusiasm in here today. <laughs> and I don't, want to, I don't want to be sad about it, so let's check in with Bird. <laughs> Hey, Bert. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Uh, my name is Doug, and I love movies. <laughs> hey, so what uh, hellhole tourist trap are you stuck in right now? I'm at the, uh, the bar at the Argonaut. Oh. That sounds all right. Where are the kids? Uh, sitting with me. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and uh, your wife? That's not how it works, you guys. Sorry, we had a bunch of premature my wifers in the house. We had a we had a beautiful day. We went to a, a Giants game. We had. A, Dinner, we had breakfast over at uh, Sears, and walked. I've walked uh, 16,000 steps today. With a child on each shoulder? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so uh, we just wanted to touch base with you because a lot of people are disappointed that you uh, aren't a guest on the show today. But the, a lot of those same people are going to come see you tonight uh, here at Cobb's. And uh, they'll scream and yell shit at you like they've been doing with me. <laughs> well, as long as you're sitting in the top deck with a, with a box of donuts, I'll be excited. All right, I guess I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, thanks. Have fun out there, and uh, we'll see you uh, at the club later tonight. All right, I love you guys. I love you, Doug. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye bye. Here he goes. Bert Kreischer on the phone. That was like, I feel like I'm hosting a real show when I did pull something like that off. He actually answered, you know, it worked out great. I didn't need to have a screener involved. Yeah, fantastic. I should have told him my plugs while I had him on the phone. Uh, tomorrow, I think there's a few tickets left. I don't know if it's sold out yet or not, but I'm going to be over at the Punchline doing stand-up uh, at 420. You guys coming to that too? Holy shit, it's comedy weekend for you guys. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, or alternating between Bert and Doug. Like, are you also uh, using each of our drug of choice? Are you just drinking when you go to see Bert and getting high when you come see me? Plus a little vodka. Bert and I drink the same thing, so that's why I, uh, I find it funny that he, does, that he doesn't do as much weed as I do. He doesn't do weed at all, just in case his children are listening. He's probably forcing him to listen to episodes of podcasts while sitting in the, the Argonaut bar. <laughs> I wonder if either, if either of his kids asked him what an Argonaut was, if he would know. Because I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know Argonauts unless they're with Jason, right? Because I love movies. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, so that's tomorrow. Don't forget your name tags tomorrow if you want to play Last Man Stanton. Tuesday, Doug Loves Movies is back at UCB Franklin in Los Angeles at 9.30. Wednesday, I'm doing stand-up at the American Comedy Company in San Diego. And next weekend, I'll be in Boston for two Doug Loves Movies tapings at Laugh Boston. Saturday's sold out, but Sunday, Father's Day, plenty of seats. 
People just want to stay home with dad. IFC is doing a thing that I, I wish I, I, I kind of wish I didn't have a show that afternoon because IFC is just going to do a marathon of the first three Die Hard movies uh, on Father's Day. So that's be a perfect way to spend that day. Oh, and San Francisco, one more thing for you guys. I'm going to be doing something very exciting. If you follow my career and what I do in San Francisco, I think you have an idea that this is coming. But it's happening, I think, pretty sure, on August 26th at 420. So mark your calendars now. And for all my dates and deets, always go to DougLovesMovies.com. getting lapped in a race. Why don't you just sit down? Why do you still keep running around? I'm gonna beat my own personal best. You sh Last time I yelled in the car on the way home. This time we got a lot closer. Yeah, your best wasn't good enough. So, look at this. This is a chunky prize bag uh, that I brought all the way from uh, Southern California to this part of California. And uh, it's in a bag uh, from my friends at the At Midnight Show. Uh, they give you a nice tote bag every time you're on the show. And, you know, I've got 17 of them laying around the house. <laughs> so I might as well use it for the prizes today. Uh, from our friends at PAX, uh, they stopped by and said, Doug, will you put this in the prize bag? And I was like, yes, I will. Uh, two different types of packs, brand new packs, is the PAX 3 and the, uh, the PAX uh, ERA, or ERA. Yeah. This one's fun because you, uh, you charge it by just shaking it back and forth, and then a little green light comes on, green light, get it? And then, you, uh, and then you're ready to go. It's a lot of fun. Speaking of a lot of fun, look at this little fella in the prize bag. It's Bullseye! <laughs> This is another thing I've never tried before as a puppet act. <laughs> hey, Bullseye, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good! <laughs> now, you don't talk in the Toy Story movies. No, because it sound like this! People hate it! Okay, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Somebody said they can see your lips moving, Bullseye. My lips don't move at all, he's stupid! All right, so... Oh my God. We have a paramedic on, on set of I'm Getting Doug With High, but not at Douglas Movies, dude. You're gonna have to get through this. So anyway, Bullseye, I won you at the uh, California, Disney California Adventure the other day, and uh, one of those uh, carnival games. And uh, so I was like, that'll be a perfect thing to put in the prize bag somewhere. So he's in the prize bag. Also, uh, one of these cool ashtrays that promotes I'm dying up here on Showtime. Yeah, old school ashtrays, man. They're perfect for weed stuff. Uh, a copy of my CD, a t-shirt that says, uh, what the fuck does it say? It's real cute. When I first saw it, I thought it was Groot, but it's not Groot. It's just a, it's just a talking broccoli. And it says greens. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody gave me that obviously because it's fun to say greens but then have a picture of broccoli and then you know it's never too early for Christmas stuff uh, for our friends at Peacemaker it's a uh, holiday bong maybe we, can, maybe we can test drive it out on Columbus after the show <laughs> So that's all the stuff I brought, plus my guests brought stuff, and as you can see, there's four chairs up here, which means four of my hilarious friends are here and ready to be on the show, and they've all done the show before, and you know them, you love them. Please give a big warm welcome to Amy Miller, Carlos Rodriguez, Ungayo Bielam, and Jacob Sierra. I see some donuts! I see donuts! 
Yes, those are donuts. Bullseye loves donuts! <laughs> Bullseye can have a donut. They're yeah. from Donut Madness in Sacramento on Watt Boulevard. Go. go All right. Donuts. They're great donuts. Yeah. Sacramento, City of Trees and Donuts. <laughs> 91 Sickness. 91 Sickness. Yeah. All right. 91 Sizzle. You feel me? <laughs> Let's meet my guests individually, starting with the lady on the panel. It's Ooh, Amy Miller, Amy. everybody. Thank you. Yes. Hi, Doug. Hey, how's it going? Good. I'm excited. I'm not, I've never done uh, this show in my hometown. Yeah, you grew up in Oakland. Yep. So the Bay Area is your home. Yep. This is one of my home clubs, Cops. I'm excited about it. Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, you don't have to be. That's working out cool. Uh, <laughs> For everybody concerned, I was happy to hear that you'd be in the neighborhood. You did a show uh, in San Francisco last night? Yes, two shows last night. How'd that go? Great, so fun. Told some jokes. People loved it. Well, speaking of fun, also joining us today. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. <laughs> we're done, we're done. You can stay for the whole thing, you know. <laughs> I don't go too in depth th at this point. Uh, Carlos Rodriguez is back, everybody. Oh, wow. 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 That killed in Sacramento the first time we heard him do it. It's gonna, it's gonna get thin quick, though, but, uh, but I say stick with it, you know? It's like, uh, for me in the old uh, Borat voice, I'm never gonna give it up just because it gets so, and so, so much more irritating. It's my signature. The longer you do it. But I also kind of learn to do it from you. I've done it every once in a while. But, okay. I don't, but it, mine doesn't sound as good as yours, but I think it's funny also. <laughs> okay. Because I, I just go, fwa, fwa, fwa. Oh. Yours has kind of an Asian tilt. <laughs> yeah. Well, but if you weren't looking at me, you might not say that. But the point is... <laughs> you've been, you've sat this close to the show before and haven't laughed like that before. Like, are you on some, something special? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, okay, it's the guy next to you that's doing that. I kept looking at you because you're making a laugh face, but there's no sound coming out. And I was like, did he get surgery or something? Because he's been in the front row before and I ne don't remember this laugh. But this other gentleman's got the laugh. What's your name, dude? Uh, Matt. Matt. All right, well, I hope we're getting this on the recording because it's, it's really entertaining everybody here. And I'm glad Bert Kreischer's not here because the two of you would just laugh at each other for 90 minutes. <laughs> Nothing would get accomplished. Yeah. Like a baby YouTube video or some shit. <laughs> just giggling back and forth. Also here today. Thanks, Doug. You also get to stay. <laughs> of course, Carlos is a uh, Sacramento comedy phenom, and uh, he's here all weekend uh, doing shows with Burt Kreischer, so you could see him tonight if you come back and see Burt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Fwa, fwa, fwa. <laughs> That's yes, I tried to give a kind of a sophisticated spin yeah. on it because always, always dressing for the show, always in a jacket. It's Ngaio Bielam, everybody. <laughs> ah, ooh, ah. Ah, ooh, ah. I'm trying to work on it. Yeah, the air horn. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's I a good line. It. They all run for cover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. I do that. He's in a suit, but he might have a gun. <laughs> He's in, he's in heat. It's a great place to put a gun as a suit. I think we've all learned that. Course. That's a great place to hide a weed. Yeah, right? Suit po pockets are good. Pockets are great. Yeah, you just my gotta, purse is you just cleverly gotta check disguised them all. as a sport coat. What? I said my purse is cleverly disguised as a sport coat. I've said that same thing, but all different words. <laughs> Have you... 
have you got something in addition to the donuts for the prize bag? Or I the do. donuts for the prize bag? Are we supposed to throw the donuts? I'm just confused by the donuts. I think we'll put the donuts in the prize bag so you can eat them or throw them or eat a couple and then throw a few later. But then I also brought uh, a container, a medical, uh, or, or just a regular. We're not really at container. that part yet. I just couldn't. Oh. I, I just couldn't stop thinking about the donuts. Do you want to look? And at I the also donuts? felt like if I didn't talk to you long enough, you'd say thank you, Doug. After I was <laughs> trying to move on to introducing the final guest. Well, thank you, Doug, for taking extra time <laughs> with me. I appreciate it that you're so slow and gentle. I saw him on a name tag on the internet today already. It's Jacob Sierra. San Francisco, third generation San Francisco native, Jacob Sierra. Lincoln High School, class of 93 if I didn't drop out. So this is really like a, a straight up California because I grew up in San Francisco and yeah. I live mm-hmm. in Sacramento. You're from Sacramento. You're from Oakland. You're from Fremont or whatever. San Francisco, California. Sure. What high school? Name three of their albums if you're from San Francisco. Uh, the three that Jefferson Airplane did. <laughs> I'm from San Diego. <laughs> West Coast represents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kill a guy. <laughs> But you did Doug's. Uh, it's spreading through the audience. <laughs> I'm, uh, so I'm really mad Bert's not here. Why? Because I've never done the show with Bert, and he's fucking like here, and he's not here, and it's fucking lame. I just feel like one of these people should take their shirts off. I think they need, <laughs> I think they need more alcohol if you and Bert are in the it's same room. It's not gonna be me. <laughs> are you? You're volunteering to keep your clothes on? Yes. Then never mind. Just this once. <laughs> just this once. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. Yeah. <laughs> I knew someday the crowd was going to be disappointed that this was the show where you weren't so take your shirt off. Um, Amy, what do you have for the prize bag, if you don't mind me asking Oh, I brought time? two excellent items, Doug. I'm so glad you asked. Thanks, Doug. Okay, I've been staying... Thanks, Doug. I've been staying at my sister's house in Oakland, and she has multiple shelves of self-help books. She's still a bitch, which is weird. Um, But this is one I brought, The Secret Language of Relationships. And you can look up your uh, your birthday and your partner's birthday and see if you're compatible. That's pretty fun. Secret language, is it written in Esperanto? (laughs) And then, I brought an Adam West Batman figurine. Pretty good. I'll trade my donuts for that. (laughs) You pass that down? Well, that's, that's very, very nice of you to do that. I, I knew that uh, he'd get weaved into the conversation today somehow, and, uh, you know, it's, a, it's another uh, big one we lost, uh, Adam West. He was great. I woke up to that this morning, and I was watching on, uh, in my hotel room, there's IFC, and I was watching uh, Kick-Ass, <laughs> and uh, just marveling at Nicolas Cage's Adam West voice that he does whenever he's got the mask on in that movie. And then I look at my Twitter and Adam West is dead. So now I can't watch TV anymore. Oh, you feel like you caused it? Because I don't, yeah, I think I caused it. It's all your fault whenever an 88-year-old man dies, Doug. <laughs> Damn you. In his prime! <laughs> That's really more of a Bane voice. <laughs> right? <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't trying to do an impression of him. <laughs> I wasn't doing an impression, old chum. But uh, yeah, he's he's great. Jeff Garland does a great Adam West impression, so I'm sure he's driving people crazy with it today. <laughs> Pow! I also tried to pull like a real white lady move at Doctor Comics and Mister Games in Oakland. Have you guys been there? And casually mention I I might mention you on Doug Loves Movies. Maybe this isn't full price anymore. I was trying to get a discount on your good name. How'd it go? It was full price. (laughs) I got half price on the donuts, so. Did they know what it was even? Or were they baffled by all of it? No, he totally knew what it was. And also go to Dr. Comics and Mr. Games. It's a great show. Okay. But don't expect a deal. No. Not on Doug's name, no. (laughs) (laughs) Try to mention Amy Miller. See if I... Yeah, don't use the coupon code Douglas Movies. 
Carlos, what do you got? Okay. It, it looks cool to me from here. So uh, last year I got invited to the Six Flags to uh, be the first to ride the Joker. Uh, roller coaster, because oh, yes. yeah, we're comedians, so they, uh, we'll put the jaw, and so, all right, and they gave me a, a lunchbox, and I was like, that's cool, and they filled it with cool shit, and it was still in my trunk from me last year, so I said, fuck it. Oh. it so it has a comic book in it. That's a condition. Yeah. Usually <laughs> and, um, if you like your comic books mangled, it's perfect. Gold. Gold. Did you say manga? Mangled. Oh. Oh. And then also they gave me Joker gloves. But the cool shit about these Joker gloves is uh, these little the fingertips are, are black, so you can uh, uh, swipe on your iPhone. It works. Yeah. Just like the Joker. Ooh. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty he's cool. He's always swiping on his iPhone while he's plotting then, scams against. And yeah. then this is this is the, the, the coolest cool part. Uh, I also threw in. I said fuck it. Uh, I had I had a girlfriend and I had one. And then we you know she you gave said me, fuck it. Yes, yeah. But she dumped me. And then I was like, well fuck, I don't want nothing that she gives me because it reminds me of crying shit. Um, <laughs> But she got me a fire stick, so fuck her, and what? you guys can have it. Jesus yeah. Christ! Dude, you guys have like the coolest <laughs> gifts. Uh, What's a fire stick? Uh, fire, Amazon Fire Stick. You could put like. Uh, it's like Roku. Yeah, and like an Apple TV. Yeah. He doesn't know. Really? Yeah, you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love it's like Roku, because then I, I, I feel like a five year old. Well, what's Roku? <laughs> it's a Japanese. Just, just keep going like, around and around and around with that. Well, pass that box on down. I love it. That's a terrific so uh, contribution. Yeah. Is this ride any good? Uh, it's, uh, horrible. It's not a good ride? <laughs> It's a joke. It's nah, a joke. I used to drink and drive, so that's way funner, but the roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> the most Mexican thing ever said on Douglas movies. <laughs> it's more funner. It's more funner, eh? It's more funner, way. Pero, pero you drive fast to the pedal? <laughs> it's more funner anyways. <laughs> Looks like a fun ride to me. On the box. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The lunchbox made me lie. Uh, what do you got for us, Ngayo? Uh I brought donuts and, um, and a, a marijuana container from Chameleon Glass. Yeah! American-made pipes in Arizona yeah. that pay a living wage. If you use Ungayo 420, you get 10% off. Oh, and there's weed in here. See that yeah, so, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> I could put more in it if you... No, no, I just wanted to... <laughs> That's oh. all. It, it seems light. What is it? What's it called? A uh, summer mix of shit I had in the car. Whoa. <laughs> so it's probably some Placerville <laughs> train wreck, and then uh, I think there's some Mendo breath and some great, grateful breath in there. And some 1986 shit. No, no, that's all, all very recent. Okay. You know, you roll a joint and you got to know, you just put it in the, in the medley box. That's that. <laughs> right? If it were for it's a tasting menu, summer medley of fall greens wrapped in a hemp paper. It's served like with a fire. <laughs> Twelve fifty. You should have like a instead of a key party, just have a bowl near the door, and uh, everybody throws sure. a few nugs in on their way in, and then you take a few on your way out. Need a need get a some nug, nugs nug, going. Have a nug, leave a nug. I'm gonna take a nug from this right now and put it into my pipe. <laughs> are we gonna? Are we smoking? It's gonna be not on stage. Oh, I was like, hey. <laughs> That's my kind of party, though. No? Uh, no, it's still not doing that, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's because of all this alcohol that everybody has to have. It's because of all the alcohol, we can't smoke weed? Yeah, those are those rules everywhere. Is Come to like my If house. you sell alcohol, you can't also smoke weed in the place. But we'll get, we'll get, through, we'll get through these difficult times. <laughs> you know, if everybody's right about climate change and stuff, that California's going to sink and we're just going to all be living on boats anyway. Yeah, I mean, yeah, get off my boat. Cop, I'm gonna smoke all the weed I want on my boat. Bro, it's international waters. <laughs> I think President Pence is gonna hook us up. <laughs> all right, we've gotten too political. I know this is. This crowd's got all types. What? Boats and hoes, I think he said. Boats and hoes? I think that's what I want him to have said. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a Jay Z video just happened in my mind. So. <laughs> boats and hoes and boats and hoes. Poor hoes. They were just regular girls till they got on a boat. 
<laughs> it's not fair. I knew it was it's not after right, and then it suddenly become a boat ho. <laughs> you want to get champagne poured on you? That's what you got to do. It's better than being a bus ho. As a bus ho, I beg to differ. <laughs> I don't know. Someone to be with you on the bus is pretty down, though. I'm sorry. It's just uh, on my head. It's true, though. Yeah, that's that for real. That's, 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 that's a, science. If you love me with a bus pass, it's a happening. Yeah, buses are more funner than boats. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on down there, Jake? Are you digging around in the bag? Yeah, then? I figured it was my turn soon. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah, I was just prepping. Let's find out what you brought. Basically, for the bit. Um, okay, so I feel like the last, I was just did Houston and San Antonio with you, and I feel like I was really my, my prize bag game was kind of weak. So I actually went out and spent some money just for, for the prize bag. Yeah, I went to uh, Two Cats Comic Book Store West Portal here in San Francisco, uh, okay. a comic book store run by lesbians apparently. Two Cats, it's called, and uh, I got this comic book. They, you know, a lot of comic book stores have like a ninety-nine cent spin. I don't know if you could see the price I here. I went for the nine hundred and ninety-nine dollar and ninety-nine cent spin. Because that's how much I care about the show. So, yeah, this is a, these are $1,000 comics that I just bought. Uh, this is the uh, Watchmen, uh, before Watchmen. The, the, I'm a big Watchmen guy. This is the comedian, because, you know, the comedians. <laughs> that was kind of clever. How many of these are there? Just two, just two. Joking? I got just okay. two, just two. And then okay. this is a comic book called Sex, which I've never heard of, but it's got a guy with a, with a, with a gun for a dick on the cover. And I thought that was pretty cool. Gun dick, I, yeah. I looked inside. There was, there was. It's very violent, very sexy. But there's like a guy getting a rim job from a girl, and I want the pages. But it's like really cartoonish drawings, so that's interesting. Are the pages a little sticky now? Or? Uh, uh, no, I mean you won't. I don't. I don't. No. <laughs> Not no. so you'd notice. But I also got this. This I didn't get this from the comic book store. But this used to be. I don't know. I forget. This used to be an Italian neighborhood. I guess it still is, kind of. And so I got this book that's uh, it's called Merda, The Real Italian You Were Never uh, Taught in School. And it's like a book of how to swear and stuff in Italian. Yeah. So it's kind of like a low. I thought it was a ge geographically specific contribution. This looks like it could have a lot of swear words in it. Yeah, I, I earmarked You think you choice. could cover all the swear words in a pamphlet? No. It's it, a full it, book of that shit. Yeah, that, they got, like, I, I bookmarked a few pages for you. That, that book is literally called Shit. shit. Yeah. yeah, man, do <laughs> yeah. Shit, yeah. 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 <laughs> But there's like 18 different ways that Italians call, but you know, penises, things and stuff. So. All right, well, bring that, bring that stuff, bring that yeah. Merida over here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll throw that Merida right I'm in the bag. Looking at the man in the Merida. <laughs> wow. You're looking at a shit man. The man in the shit. Man in the shit. Oh, I like that. Ah, that's very poetic. Man in the shit. Um, I got one quick question for you guys before we get to the game portion of the show, and I'm that right is, here. which are you, right or left-handed? Thank you, and Gaio. <laughs> Different question for Carlos. What? <laughs> what was the last movie you saw? Uh, today, I went and seen The Mummy. You went and seen The Mummy today? Yeah, I went and seen The Mummy just a minute ago. And how did that work out for you? It is, it's, it's I. It's just I. It's just I. I mean, like, I didn't go in there expecting Spielberg shit, so I was like, all right, cool. But it's, uh, it's just like, you know, it's a Tom Cruise ego boost because the mummy just wants Tom Cruise really bad. She chose him. That hot maybe lo mum mummy lady just wants to fuck Tom Cruise? Yeah, yeah, she chose him and she wants to be with him and whatnot. And it's like, eh, it's eh. But it's like, it's cool. I'm, I mean, cool because it's, it's supposed to link up with all the other movies, right? The Dark Universe. It links up with Godzilla, King Kong, and Invisible Man. <laughs> Oh, the uh, fuck, he's man. in the back. The Greek, was, the Greek Avenger is another one. That's my moment. That was a lot of uh, plates. I was about to do a spoiler, so I think that's what happened. I, I, have to, I have to call Carlos out at this point. You gave it a way better review upstairs in the green room, dude. Yeah, no, no. You told me you loved it. And no, I didn't say I loved it. You, no. said, it was, you said it was hey, fun. Fucking Jacob. Like, what's the big deal? Like, Jacob everybody hates him. And now you're like, oh, I'm trying Jacob to. Like, I was doing the show last night. And I goes, do remember that. You were like, what's with all the hate you on the mummy? And then you're out here spreading hate on the mummy. Goddamn lies. <laughs> Just say you love it. Yeah, I loved it. It was good, actually. It was very, very good. It murdered. <laughs> the I'm mummy good at murdered. Drawing people out. Yeah. This prize bag, holy cow! It's like three bags and a box and a and a, and a, and a uh, lunch box. It's really like a prize package. <laughs> that laugh, man. What do you do for a living? Stand-up comedy. What? <laughs> so, do you? <laughs> <laughs> He's homeless. <laughs> In the Bay Area? 
Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Like Walnut Creek stand up comedy? <laughs> Keep your day job. Lodi. Lodi. Keep your day job as a homeless person. Stuck in Lodi again. Dang, dude. Came here on a greyhound. Just about her home. All right, I'm sorry I talked to you. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, what was the last movie you saw? Baywatch. Woo! <laughs> and? Loved it. You did? Yeah. Yes, but it was conditional, you know? I saw it in Tucson, Arizona at like a lay down. They like ripped off the Alamo Draft House there, but they had recliners, and then I was like drinking wine, and it was great. I loved it. It was the afternoon before my shows, and, uh, I mean, there's a lot of hot dudes in it. <laughs> I love The Rock. I'm not very smart, Doug. Um. <laughs> I mean, if you go in expecting to see The Rock and Zac Efron in a Baywatch spoof, it does exactly what it's supposed yeah. to do. It was really fun. I don't know. I just enjoyed myself. But also because I was in Tucson, like, that movie was getting real laughs in Tucson. <laughs> it fucking crushed in Tucson, Arizona. There was like a 65-year-old lady next to me just laughing at every joke. And I was like, oh, this is what it's like to just enjoy your life. <laughs> and not be like, this isn't well-written or this comedy's bullshit and I know more. Like, you can just enjoy yourself. I live in Arizona. You could enjoy your life so much that it, that you'd want to be spending it doing something other than watching Baywatch. <laughs> you yeah. know, like I was just kind of antsy through the whole thing. It just felt like, uh, you know, they, the set pieces went on for a little, like the guy's dick is caught in the lounge for too long. That was really dumb and I didn't enjoy that part of it. <laughs> yeah. But I'm happy for that guy, whoever he is, for getting, you know. But I'm not here to pick apart the Citizen Kane of lifeguard movies. <laughs> Because that's pretty much what it is. It is the gold standard up to this point. I'm going to say back to the beach on that. Really? Yeah. I liked uh, Lifeguard of Sam Elliott. I've never seen that. Beef, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> did he even do that one? Was that Sam Elliott? <laughs> You're the one who would know, probably. <laughs> All right, quick round of uh, <laughs> IMDb games. Sam Elliott. Can anybody name a Sam Elliott movie? Big, Big Lebowski. Lebowski. Yeah. Yeah. Roadhouse. <laughs> the other one. The Mask. One. <laughs> the Mask, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's from uh, Carmine. He's been in a few. Lonesome. He's been in some good ones. Uh, uh, Jacob? Last movie? Mm-hmm. Uh, Wonder Woman. Here we go. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Okay, you know, that, one of those men-only screenings that are so popular. <laughs> that movement died quickly, according to the applause I got. What? The whole Wonder Woman like empowerment thing that seemed like it was sweeping the nation. Now it's just like, eh. It's, uh, the mummy's more funner. It's poised to, uh, <laughs> no, it's poised to beat the mummy this weekend at the box office. I hope it does. The, I, mean, I mean, we've talked about it a little bit. I thought, uh, I really, I like it. I think it's not as good as people are acting like it is, but it was a really, it was a fun movie, and the fighting was really cool, and she's like instantly... You know, dethrones Natalie Portman as the hottest Jew chick alive. That's what the most important well, boo, message booing? of the movie is. <laughs> that's what I took away from it. I thought that's. Maybe it's not for you. <laughs> really? Really? Like as a as a Jewish man? Half that. <laughs> the Jew, the Jew part. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I took well, I took my kids, and uh, they 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 liked it. I could have done without like her, you know, having a man helping her a lot and, and uh, falling in love with him and all that shit. I like, yeah, I mean, could have been cooler. She, she never was just said independent because she came from an island of women. But you know? she kind of Han Soloed it because he said he loved her, but she never, she never said that back. She doesn't say it back. She doesn't say it back. Does she like yeah. throw up one of her wrists and it shoots back in his face? Yeah, she's like, <laughs> I love you. Could she? She uses those to deflect. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, some bars. Man, if... hey, can I buy up? <laughs> hey. <laughs> We could all use some of those. I like how she sort of just sort of discovers she has those things, like it's a you know um, the day you learn to masturbate or something. <laughs> the way she's like, or like Spider Man, I guess. There was a lot of wrist work involved that day, also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she's just sort of like, oh, this is crazy what my wrist can do. And then, and then the, in a few situations, I'm like, go to the wrist thing. Like she's kind of holds back on it. 
Like, I would, like, always be doing that if I were her. Non-stop. And why do they have a lasso of truth that the island's all women and they all trust and love each other? Why'd they even invent that thing? In case a man fell out of the clouds? Exactly. Yeah, I think so. (laughs) I'm done here. Case case assured. (laughs) I thought uh, the the villain could have been a little stronger. I guess that's kind of a spoiler, so we can't talk about it. Uh, you know, I, 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 you know, the, the villain is a tough one to pull off, and when a, a movie has a great villain, it's uh, you know, it's really improves it, like you know, like a Die Hard one or whatever. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I thought they were kind of bland in this one. But just it's hard. It. They're coming. They have to come up with so many villains in these movies. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm a DC guy more than a Marvel guy, comic book wise. So I'm just glad it's it's working, and I hope that you know I'm glad that there's a movie out with like a, a you know over 90 percent Rotten Tomatoes. It's a DC movie, and I'm ho- I hope it pushes Justice League and all yeah. that shit. So I want, I'm happy I want more of her. I, I want to see her do that more. Yeah. I want to see her For fight, sure. fighting people. For sure. Mostly men. <laughs> I, just want to see her. I, I think she should just start punching everybody in the balls. Here's the thing. Here's the weird thing about the movie, and I know you want to move on, but I'm like, I was like really attracted to the Doctor Poison chick. Oh yeah, yeah. She was like hot. You like, like that funky mask on yeah. her face? Yeah, I liked crazy. It, I liked it without you the like mask crazy too. girls? Yeah. 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 She got her mask at the same place as the guy from Boardwalk Empire got his. Yeah, those I things know. are those things are creepy as fuck. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I can't handle it. I kept looking at it trying to find her beauty. Like, she's got to be beautiful. Under Why? That. Why does she have to be beautiful? Yeah. Because she just had to be. And then it turns out she was played by a very beautiful actress. Yeah, she <laughs> you know, who got the gig. Because they're like, oh, she's going to look great ugly. <laughs> Put glasses on her. Did you... Uh, <laughs> well, that's what I'm excited for in the next, you know, as Wonder Woman moves forward, is I want her to... Uh, be in modern times fighting people and doing stuff. Yeah, I don't need. I don't 70s. need. I don't need more. What if superheroes were around during the I Nazis? Mean, uh, the real heroes took care of that whole situation, and, uh, <laughs> right. and we don't need. To, we don't need to rewrite that. Right. <laughs> we need to confuse anybody. Yeah, Wonder, Wonder Woman's family didn't do very well in the, in the Second World War. Oh no! <laughs> I have God. <laughs> Jacob Too Far Siroff. <laughs> Might as well do your plugs right now. Jacob Only Too on the panel, Siroff. I get to say it. <laughs> uh, guy, have I asked you what your no, recent you movie experience is? Before anything, you have something on your nose right here. It's been driving me crazy. Oh, God, thank you. Okay. That's why that guy's been laughing? <laughs> That's pretty much the whole reason. <laughs> ah. It hasn't been there the whole time. But, but the last It's my nose. Minutes. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It, 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 it feels like forever. I felt like Gilda Radner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw Wonder Woman, and I saw Baywatch, and I saw Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, uh, how was that? It was all right. I mean... Yeah. Which one is the best one of those three if you had to pick one? Wonder Woman. Okay. Wonder Woman was the best DC movie so far. I mean, which is not saying a lot of stuff. You mean ever or in this new, in the new reboot, you know, this current Zack Snyder? In the universe? current Zack Snyder universe, it's the best one. It's, I mean, you know, it's not hard to do, but uh, I, I enjoyed it. I saw it twice. I actually. read that uh, Patty I'm Jenkins, Patty Jenks on Twitter is uh, lined up to, uh, you know, she's uh, going to probably direct a sequel. So she that's should. That's cool. I think so. I hope they said it in the 70s. You know, she wants to do it and they're saying she's going to do it, I guess. All right. I don't know if I'm allowed to be excited about that because it's not for me. <laughs> but I want to be. I like that. Well, that's why I like Suicide Squad. I'm excited Squad. about it. That's why I said it. Suicide Squad. You didn't like Suicide Squad? Yeah. The, the, the yeah. No? Well, I mean, there's a Mexican in it, so I kind of, I, it was more funner. For yeah, me. yeah. More... I know, but it was, <laughs> but the way they treated it was so ridiculous. <sighs> Do you set fire things in your mind? Uh, I set fire things on real. I had a problem. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> All right, Diablo. <laughs> uh, we got lots of great name tags. Bert Kreischer is in here, but if he does listen to it, he needs to turn the show off because it's time to say, let the games begin. <laughs> Lady and gentlemen, pick your name tags from out of the darkness. Doug said there was a Guardians with me as Baby Groot. Is that around? And while you do that, we'll do this. We'll go to a brief commercial Where's message. It? I'm trying Where to go. Baby Groot? Going, Where am I, hey, Baby Groot? Hey, Jacob, could you just do this part off mic? We're going to commercial. <laughs> trying to go to commercial. This is the part where I always say it. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. 
Today's episode is brought to you in part by I'm Dying Up Here. That's the show that you've heard me go on and on about. I've had six different cast members from the show on Doug Loves Movies recently. And of course, I've been giving out uh, ashtrays that I stole from the I'm Dying Up Here premiere party. It's the new drama series executive produced by Jim Carrey on Showtime and new episodes air every Sunday night at 10 p.m. I'm Dying Up Here centers around a group of young up-and-coming comedians hoping to make it big in the 1970s LA comedy scene. Every night these stand-ups wait their turn to get a chance to perform at Goldie's, the hottest club in Hollywood. But as they soon find out there's no such thing as an easy laugh They'll first have to win over club owner Goldie, played by Academy Award winner Melissa Leo, who rules the Sunset Strip with an iron fist. And these comics aren't ready until she says they're ready. Don't miss I'm Dying Up Here every Sunday at 10 p.m., only on Showtime. Go to GetShowtime.com to download the Showtime app now and start your free trial. Today's episode is also brought to you in part by Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is the smarter choice. Get a great shave at a great price, conveniently delivered right to your door. It's an awesome life hack and a no-brainer choice. You no longer have to schlep to the store to buy a cheap disposable razor that gave you a cheap shave. Or spend a fortune on razors with gimmicky shaving tech that you didn't need. And when I use my DSC Executive Razor with their Dr. Carter's Shave Butter, the blade just gently glides, giving me such a smooth shave. Their Dr. Carter's Shave Butter is transparent for a more precise shave, helps prevent ingrown hairs, and fights razor bumps. You too can make the smarter choice by joining Dollar Shave Club. For a limited time, new members get their first month of the Executive Razor with a tube of their Dr. Carver's Shave Butter for only $5 with free shipping. After that, razors are just a few bucks a month. That's a $15 value for only 5 bucks. In your first month box, you get an awesome weighty handle, a full cassette of four cartridges, and their tube of their Shave Butter. Can't get enough of that Shave Butter. After your first month, replacement cartridges ship automatically at their regular price. There are no hidden fees and no commitments. Cancel any time you like. You can only get this offer exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash Doug. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash D-O-U-G. Back to the show. We're back. That was an exciting uh, name tag selection process. Because our friend Jacob... Could, just couldn't pick, so we decided that he could have two people that he's playing for. So he gets two lifelines. No. No, Carlos. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why are you trying you can't to help him? You can't give him an advantage like that. <laughs> he's already going to win. So um, which one? Tell us about both of your name tags, Jacob. Okay, well, before the show, you had told me that you saw a Guardians of the Galaxy poster mm-hmm. with me as Baby Groot, and that was really exciting to me because I've never been on a Guardians name tag. And I was right. excited. But then uh, when I asked for it, a woman just walked up and handed me a different name yeah, tag. Yeah, she just marched right up yeah. like you were saying specifically Groot, and she's like, this isn't Groot, and she walked but towards it, you but it has been and on handed it. you a and very nice... A very nice return of the... Uh, G- how would you say it? Jedith? Jedith? Jedith, because her name's Edith, but that's confusing. Jesus. Jesus. Return of the Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's got you as uh, Han and me as Luke and Billy D as Billy D and how come, I'm not, how come I'm not Lando? Is it, is it me or the house lights never go back down? I think you're right. I could see everybody very clearly. Could we get dark again in here? How oh, I like it. Thank so, you. Thank you. <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're out there because we can hear you breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, who you playing for? Oh, the, the Guardians one, Doug. Oh, sorry, what? The, no, the, the, then the... Jesus, everything takes forever with you. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Which the ladies probably love. You beat me to it. Or not. <laughs> right? Depends. Jesus. I'm Just sore. Finish. There's a happy medium. It's Wednesday. Can you wrap it up? <laughs> That's the kind of woman Jacob makes love to. <laughs> it's Wednesday. I don't know if I've ever made love to a woman. Fwah, fwah, fwah. <laughs> Carlos, can you do the real one? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what 
That sounds so like which it. one of the two do you want to uh, have be your lifeline? Uh, I'm going to go with the Guardians one because the poster is so solid. That this person must really... I feel like the first one's more of a fan of the show and this guy's a more of a movie fan. I'm going to guess. All right. I'm gonna good guess. Theory. And what's his name? It's, it, and it's mainly just because I'm a sexist and he's a boy. But what's his name? <laughs> it's Cody ends of the, the okay, Galley's Cody. Jenny. So Cody is who will go to. Oh, there's two people. There's oh, Cody Jesus, and Jenny. still talking about it? It's, there's a Jenny, too. Just, <laughs> All right, we got to move okay, on. Whatever. Let's go. We're doing one game now. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just going to draw They have to split the prizes three ways, I guess. There's half of a half, or I don't know how they're going to do it. San Francisco it's going to be a, It's going to be an ugly riot. Is it my turn now? Mm-hmm. Thanks, Doug. I'm playing for Jenica. Woo, Jenica! This beautiful breakfast at Jenica's, uh, and it's her own art, and it's so beautiful, and uh, she's, you're on it, Carlos? I'm on it, hey, thank you. Right yeah. yeah, well, good, that's great for you, I'm never on them. Um, <laughs> Kreischer, and also, Doug, you're eating a breakfast of bacon, eggs, I think that's a giant mushroom, could be toast. <laughs> And a bong. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's breakfast at Jenica's. That is so you, dude. I like it. It's really beautiful, though. It's, like, well done and thoughtful. and. Yeah, she tweeted something about, like, oh, I don't have time to make a name tag, so I'll just draw one. And then that's how beautiful it turned it's out. It's so good. <laughs> the little kitty cat on the Hepburn. Oh, man, I love it. Good job, Jenica. There you go. Good luck to both of you. I saw a lot of crap out there, and this is not crap. <laughs> That's how you get your face on a name tag in the future. Carlos, what do you got? Uh, I got. Uh, I went all the way to the very, very back because I said, "Fuck it, if you're late, that's okay." Um, yes. So, dude. and I got gremlins. Well, I, I don't. What is? Whoa. That's a pretty cool one. Yeah, this is an awesome. I was Gremlin's like, got light up sunglasses on yeah. and he's holding a G joint. And it says Douglas Movies on his box and it's been signed by me and Graham Elwood and two other people who have sloppy signatures and uh, meaning this person's been to a Douglas Movies before. Is that you? <laughs> so it's like, yeah! So Gaio's one of the un- unlegibles. The illegibles. Is that really the point? <laughs> but uh, yeah, great job there, Graham. Uh, Guillermo's. <laughs> Guillermo's? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Right on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sheila Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, hand drawn, with crayon, art pastel, colored pencil. So colored she had to pencil. press hella hard. <laughs> to do that. And it also came with a joint, which is, you know, oh. that's how you get me. I was wondering why you chose that shit. If you want to smoke paradise. <laughs> I knew there was a hook. Yep, I've seen that trick work before. <laughs> it would work if I were picking name tags. I'd go right for those See, ones. That's how you do it. Yeah. Well, great job, everybody. Yeah. And, good uh, job. Let's play some games. Let's win. Yeah. <laughs> Got some shit written down over here. Should be fun. Good luck. Uh, we're yeah. all counting on. Yeah, of course. Good luck. We're all counting on us. We're gonna start with Purple Rain Man. What movie mashup title would feature in the third build roles? You guys guess as often as you like on this till somebody gets the right answer. Do I have Sarah name first? No. Okay. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> unless what? I can't think of a movie that, oh, unless the movie's called Amy. <laughs> Aww. Because <laughs> there's a movie that's called Ch- Amy, Chasing right? Chasing Amy Miller. There's Chasing Amy also. All right. David Tomlinson and Louis Black. Don't think anyone's going to get it on that. <laughs> audience two, audience two do not uh, try to help in any way. Yeah, it's mashed together like Purple Rain Man. Well, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Second billing would be Dick Van Dyke and Bill Hader. <gasps> Some people in the audience know what it shitty, is. Shitty, shitty, no. Dang it. Chitty, chitty, the, bang, the, bang the drum slowly. I know the second movie. <laughs> chitty, chitty, I know one of them. Hollywood Bang Bang. <laughs> I'm going to do that one on a future episode. That's a good one. <laughs> You're welcome. 
All right, this should, this should make it happen for you guys. Top build, Julie Andrews and Amy Poehler. I know the second one. I don't know the first one. You don't know the movie that's got Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke in it? Yes, of course. It's so it's, that's the one oh. I know. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's something about audience. Mary Poppins? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Amy Poehler stars in the other now, movie now, now in the second half of the title. Now I forgot the second half of the title. Fuck. It's the it's it's fucking I'm gonna just give you guys a clue too fuck. It's a computer animated movie. What the fuck, man? It's the Disney with the fuck with emotions and the fucking ah, and the little girl. She's oh. gonna, she gonna be a porn star if she don't fucking you know get right or some shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How does that Mary Poppins side uh, Mary Pop inside out. That's correct, oh, yeah. Jacob is correct. <laughs> that's a weird one, though. Mary Pop yeah, inside out. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Good job, Jacob. <laughs> I couldn't that's get really, though. That was fucked up. I thought of <laughs> I, I agree. I thought of that the other day when I was at Disneyland uh, winning, winning stuffed animals. I was thinking what would be a good uh, two Disney movie uh, That's a humble brag. One. I'm or, Mary Pop Inside Out, y'all. <laughs> or I think somebody tweeted at me or said it to me on uh, Instagram or something. But anyway, uh, congratulations, Jacob. You won that game. You get to go first in the next game, which is Ron Bennington's Adjusted for Inflation Bureau game. Uh, here's how this works. Uh, Jacob gets to go first in the first round. We're going to do four rounds. Uh, I'll name an actor or actress, and then each of you, in order, coming this way from Jacob, uh, have to uh, guess what movie of theirs might be in their top three at the domestic box office after being adjusted for inflation, according to boxofficemojo.com. Adjusted for inflation. Mm hmm doesn't affect it that in that big of a way with more recent movies. Well, if you older say Bert movie, Reynolds, though. Right, See? exactly. What happens then? Exactly. What if you say Jacob's dick? Wait, what? Adjusted for inflation, sir. <laughs> I, don't, I still don't get it. Is that a Jew joke? I don't... Is that a... Are you trying to say his penis is cheap? I'm trying to say that <laughs> interest is static. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I, think he's saying, I can't believe you walked right into it. I don't, I don't, I don't like, see like, that I did. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> you just pulled that out of nowhere. <laughs> I think you, what you're trying so, to say is. And so a, have you. You're trying to say I'm a grower, not a shower, I think. Is what you're trying, in layman's terms, I think is what. Something like that. Okay, I'll, I'll vouch for that. Yeah, okay, that's fair. It's all context. <laughs> it's good Thanks for you. getting my dick involved in the show. It's, good about it. it's most important. Just came out of but... nowhere. <laughs> In no time at all. <laughs> Where'd this dick come from? <laughs> Holy shit. I would have thought that, was, that was a thing that she may have said at some time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Jacob, start us off. You get, uh, you know, one point. I mean, you get three points if you figure out the number one uh, movie from this person. And uh, the person in question is Jillian Anderson. Jillian Anderson? Yeah, it's an interesting one. I think, but I'm, I'm looking right at it. Now, yeah, does that, she have to be a star or just any movie that she was in? A movie she was in, yeah. Like, a, anything they were in. I try to keep track of every once in a while to be like a cameo or something that slips by, but... Jillian Henderson. There's, there's one I want to say and I can't think of the title. Oh, shit. Uh, You're going to have to say something. I mean, Jesus. Jillian Anderson. Um... Fucking, I, I don't know one. I'm All right. Gonna, yeah, I don't know one. I don't want to give it away. Let's go to Amy. The X Files movie. Yeah. Oh, that Jillian Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of the one from. Are you thinking of Jillian? You're thinking of the other. The one that died from breast cancer that was on It's a Living. What was her name? Oh, Anne Jillian. Yeah, that was thinking of her. <laughs> I was like, why would he pick her? Because she was in that one movie with Charles Bronson when she was the first lady and he had to protect her. Oh, okay. I was like, it's got to be that one. She's the only movie she's ever done. But. All right. All right. Sorry. Uh, Amy, Sorry, everybody. No, this person's been in a few movies. But Amy, I need a, the exact title. X-Files the, the movie. Okay, you're going with X-Files the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, first I said the X-Files movie. I tried. Right. But that's, I'm just saying you've got to pick an a exact title. The X-Files. Carlos? <laughs> <laughs> the X-Files. Um, uh, somewhere out there. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not American Tail, dude. <laughs> so where? <laughs> the X Files. Huh? What? What do you say? I was gonna say the X Files of Truth is out there. Yeah. That's what it no, is. No. Shoot the yes out there. I'm in charge. I am the quiz master. <laughs> <laughs> but is that her top rate? All right, so that's your guess? Sure. Something I, like that? Can I have a right. guess for fun that won't count for points? Just, what? Can I have a guess for fun that won't count for points? Yeah, it'll be so much fun and <laughs> not take up any time. I love it. Go. X-Files fight the future. What? X-Files fight. fight the future. Fight the future, okay. All right, uh, coming in at number three for uh, Gillian Anderson, The Last King of Scotland. Oh. Yeah, she's in that, that movie. With Forrest Whit- Whitaker. Mm-hmm. And then number two, the X Files. I want to believe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then coming in at number one for three points, it's the X Files. That's what you said, Amy. <laughs> I'm looking right at Amy. She's like, "Did I win?" <laughs> That's the most points I've ever had on this show. Hey, there's still uh, three more rounds of this. Thank and you, everyone. In this round, you get to go first, and the actor's name is David Duchovny. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, X-Files, I want to believe. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Ah, oh, shit. A David Duchovny... <laughs> Masterpiece. Well, uh, David Duchovny. Uh, House of D. Okay. Mm. Top Gun. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't in that? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. David Duchovny. Yeah, I know who he is. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I don't fucking know what he was in. Okay. Jacob? Uh, the X Files? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You sure you want to go with that? I'm going with the X-Pile. Okay. Coming in at number three for Mr. David Duchovny, Beethoven. Oh. Yeah, he was like the bad guy in the Beethoven movie. That's Beethoven right. dragged him across a lawn at the end of a chain. With Charles Grote. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Coming in at number two, David Duchovny apparently had a brief role in uh, the classic Working Girl. Oh. Working Girl. And then coming in at number one, <laughs> for three points to Jacob, it's The X Files. Why wouldn't I say that if they were both in it? <laughs> it does seem pretty uh, odd when that happens, but you'd be surprised <laughs> how often I could slip things by people. Beethoven? <laughs> All right, so Carlos gets to start us off in this next round. And uh, <laughs> right on. the person whose name tag he chose is very excited. And uh, we're going with Kevin Spacey. Ooh. Frank Underwood. <laughs> yes, House of Cards does not count. Um, uh, one of his biggest grossing flicks. I'll say, uh, um, I'll go Horrible Bosses. Okay. No? Okay, fuck it, then I won't. You don't, uh, it's not Price is Right. <laughs> like, higher, The audience doesn't higher. get to tell you whether or not they like your answer. The fuck is Kevin Spacey? Ngaio? That's a good answer. I thought Horrible Bosses made a lot of fucking money. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 just because I don't fuck him. I don't care. <laughs> I just care about Guillermo fucking Gremlin guy over here. Is it, is it just the theatrical release, or is it throughout the run of the film or whatever, like? Yeah, in theaters. But, but, you know, sometimes things get re-released and that's why Gone with the Wind is still like way up there. What's the one with the fucking and the stuff? Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, competitor. Yeah, sure. No. Uh, what's the one that he was with the girl in American uh, Beauty? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jacob? I, I feel pretty good about this. Okay. S- Superman Returns. All right. Oh. I played Lex Luthor in that. <laughs> Everyone hates that. Amy? I'm going to say pay it forward. Okay. That's a, 
Interesting guess. It depends on how you define wealth. <laughs> that movie did get a lot of karma. You're so wise. <laughs> kind of so wise. So it made a lot of karma. Steve Bennington movie. doesn't adjust for karma. Ron, yeah. His name's Ron Bennington. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's a wonderful Still man. <laughs> if someone said Steve Seroff, I'd be like, his name's Jacob. I, I, I want to meet that guy. <laughs> like a, Sounds way cooler. Like a more gentile name. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that Jacob's been gentrified? Doesn't make any sense. All right. Uh, did you name one? Me? Yeah. yeah pay it for oh, yeah, pay it forward. I'm sorry. I forgot because it's I don't see it here. And um <laughs> You'd see it in your heart if you ever watched it. I thought I could trick somebody to saying working girl because uh, Kevin Spacey appears briefly in that. Uh. But uh that, that that came in at number seven, so that would have been none of you fell for that. Uh, but then coming in at number one, interestingly enough, because we did mention uh, cameos and short parts. Uh, he's in Austin Powers in Goldmember, uh, briefly, and then also he's the voice of the grasshopper bad guy in uh, A Bug's Life. Yeah. A Bug's Life is number two. And then coming up at number three, for one point for Jacob, it's Superman Returns. Oh, shit. Okay. This is a real barn burner. Jacob has four, Amy has three, then there's some other guys. <laughs> Hey, Doug. Yes. Four, four, four. Hey, man. <laughs> ba boom, ba boom. <laughs> <laughs> what if we ordered a couple drinks? Oh, okay. Yeah. That could be pretty cool, yeah, right? Yeah, go ahead. Ask for ask away. Can I please have a tall tea dozen soda? I drank that before I met Doug. Just want you guys to know. Can I get a Red Bull? Coffee. Is anyone? So, yeah, somebody they in the it. audience. What? Thank you, girl. <laughs> You could drink anything you want, and that's what you asked for? I'm a recovered alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> if I drink alcohol, then I want to rob everybody. Uh, oh, that's shot what you yeah, doing yeah. all that drunk driving before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And I got to calm down on it, too. Got a strike. I'm a recovered alcoholic. I mean, I still drink and drive, but... <laughs> they still have strikes? But I recover. They yeah. still have strikes? No, no, no. You said I got a strike. No, I got a felony, but I don't got a strike. Okay. They still have strikes. I got a felony. They do? Yeah. That's what they yeah. yeah. It's not a thing that would affect you, mostly. As a Jewish white privilege. <laughs> yeah. He was like, what? I would also like a uh, Cheetos and soda, which I've been drinking before I was drinking them. <laughs> <laughs> what was your face before you were born? <laughs> I was drinking them before they started serving them here. How about you, Amy? No, no, not at all. I okay. just don't want people to think that. Yeah. Like, you're a copycat. You know. You're you're a copycat. Not. Doug, what would you do in that situation? Would you revert to kettle? Or? That's like if you're sitting in a steakhouse going, I, you know, I know they ordered steak, but I'm going to go there too. I might, I, I've been eating steak for a while now. <laughs> it's a little different. A little different, you're right. Um, we got to play this out game out here, and then we got another game to play. So uh, let's go with. Um, who gets to go first? And Gaio. And the actor's name is Mike Myers. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed. Jacob's walking around. Oh, he's getting a drink. Wayne's World. Oh, thanks, Jacob. I'm going to go with Wayne's World. Made all the money. He's going Wayne's World. Thank you very much. All in. Thank you for the drinks, Comps Comedy Club. And for the Red Bull for Carlos. Boom. It's coming. Relax, dude. Don't stay calm. <laughs> now they're going to spit in it because you were an asshole. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. it was him. Well, there'll be coffee. Why don't you try some decaf, man? You fucking... <laughs> Shut up. I was walking along Columbus and then one of those uh, groups of naked bicyclers r rode by and there's this little Asian girl with her mother and the girl goes, I didn't need that today. <laughs> From the mouths of babes. Her mom probably did. Her mom's like, it's kind of gro it's gross because like I just go right to how like uncomfortable I'd be on a bicycle seat with my junk out. All right, and there's like one girl in the group. Thanks for the throwing me that bone. 
Wayne's right. World. You said Wayne's World. I say Wayne's World. Mm -hmm. Jacob. Um, Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. Okay. Amy. Austin Powers, gold member. Okay, it's Austin Powers and gold member. Is that what you want to say? Yep, that's what I said. That's what you said. That's, I, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Clever. Carlos. I agree with Jacob, but I can't. Oh, that's not how the game works. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right, well, then I'll do a... Now you can't awesome. pretend you're on Price is Right, because that, that's... You gotta say One dollar. you got to say something different. you got to say something different. Okay, yeah, I'll say yeah. that Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. All right, so what do we have so far? Wayne's World. Recap. Which one did you... Wayne's World? Yep. And then, uh, and then the rest of you all figured right. out the Austin other Powers. gold member, uh, uh, other Austin Powers movies. All right, so uh, interestingly, the highest ranking Austin Powers movie came in at number five... Uh, Austin Powers and Gold member. Uh, that's right. And numbers one, two, and three are Shrek, Shrek two, and Shrek three. Yeah. <laughs> that's classic. Uh, pardon me, a Shrek the third, that to be precise. Fucking classic. It pisses me off because I just got it and I looked at it and I was like, Shrek, fuck. Oh, cool, that's cool. like your Mexican gang oh. name, Shrek. Mexican gang what? Name, nickname. My No. <laughs> <laughs> no. El Shreko. <laughs> All right, so that means that uh, Jacob is the winner of Ron Bennington's Adjusted for Steve Bennington game. <laughs> Jacob's killing it. You did it, yeah. yeah. But Jacob gets to go first in the, the you know, one of the... Uh, What's the next I was going to say the granddaddy of all the games, but that would, that's not true. I bet it is. But this is one that came along, and we named it after a granddaddy. It's called Last Man Stanton. Oh, here we go. I think it's the granddaddy. It's my favorite. And uh, we'll start uh, with Jacob, because he keeps winning. And then we'll uh, scoot it around the other way. So we'll go uh, Amy, Carlos, Ngayo, and me. I like to play along. But each of you get to use your lifeline once. That's the person whose name tag you chose. You can go to them and only them and the people whispering in their ears, because I can't police the whole room, uh, to, uh, to get an answer one time. And uh, I know we're all drinking and smoking, and it's a beautiful day in San Francisco. Smoking. So let's uh, smoke So let's not uh, yell out any answers. My girl got tats <laughs> on her face. So meet in cookies from Oak. I don't remember a guy being this musical on the show. A lot you of should singing. listen. A lot of singing. You should listen. Well, I've been on you before. I've been on you before. The singing. What do you? How do you remember when you look back on being on the show with Jacob? What do you remember most? Racial animus. <laughs> What's the second word? I feel like I might need to tweet that. A N I M U S. Animus. Oh, that might be a good album title for you. <laughs> Racial animus. What does it mean so I can pretend like I already knew? <laughs> Look it up. There's a. I'm not even convinced it is a word. There's racial friction uh, caused by you. I'm, really? Yeah, You're you come angry. out swinging. I don't know if that's. You're mad. You think I'm mad? No, really? I'm. Translating. Oh, <laughs> that's what animus means. No, I'm not at all. I'm a liberal Jew from San Francisco. I just think race is funny because I went to public schools here. And, and you just walked around school. laughing all day. Well, <laughs> it used to be like all, all, all these people here were Chinese when I grew up here, and at some point they cops. Out. Yeah, all the people at cops used to be Chinese. Remember when? What you shows were you doing? Everybody everywhere was Chinese. San Francisco was Chinese when I was a kid, so like that's all we did was make racial jokes about them, and, and they made them about us. I was born here in 1980, and I was Chinese. That's See? what's weird. See? See? Just a couple That's why they away. put her on a boat to Oakland. I'm <laughs> 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 to get you on a slow boat to Oakland. That was good. The slow All right. Boat Let's China. play this game, you guys. Let's. <laughs> uh, the person who uh, I picked from Twitter to give us a suggestion today goes by the name The Boom Camel. Right here. Boom yeah. Camel. Hey, Boom Camel. Why do you call yourself that? The Boom Camel. Dude I used to work with just said it'd be a funny name. What? Really? Is it because camels are hard to hear? What are you fucking saying? <laughs> Somebody 
hand him a megaphone. <laughs> so terroristy, the boom camel. Just yell. A buddy, th- said, a buddy said, said you should call yourself the boom camel? Because he yeah. thought it was funny. Hmm. That was so anti Did he also pick out any of your tattoos? Because they're probably terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just saying something like, I was on a film crew in the desert one time. And yeah, everyone well, else it's, passed out from dehydration. But it's pretty amazing. Uh, uh, you, you think what people might be yeah. named after, and that's why I like to ask, because it's like, nope. Just <laughs> thought the boom camel sounded good. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was going to have like a Desert Storm story or something. Like, oh, I was back back later. Yeah, yeah, when we were I was in charge of the grenades. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm, a I'm the boom camel. <laughs> if he said, ask about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's because like you can drink a lot and store it in your hump, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Is that why your buddy calls you a camel? Because <laughs> that would make sense. You go into a bar, look out, boom camel. <laughs> you go in a happy hour, they're... By the time you leave, they're out of Schlitz. Just once a year, though. Just <laughs> Schlitz? Yeah, that was a fun uh, beer name, don't you it's think? It's got a Z. It, it sounds it cheap, too, right? <laughs> We're going to get Schlitz based. <laughs> All right, so Boom Camel, what do you got for us for uh, a name? And it better not be somebody that's an Ishtar. Who? Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. All right. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. That's a good one. Not yeah. sure how I feel about it. Jeff Goldblum. Mm. Start with you there, Jacob. Okay, the fly. He's just going the fly. Classic. Uh, my might favorite. Be, might be my favorite Jeff Goldblum performance. Yeah, definitely mine. Maybe. Amy? Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. I want, <laughs> I want to believe. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe dash chaos theory. My, me? What? My turn, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jurassic Park, uh, The Lost World, part two, right? Ooh. All right, this is gonna, this is gonna get ugly. Oh, fuck, all right. No, no, it's cool, it's cool. It's the first round, so I'm gonna let it go, uh-huh. but it's, odd, it's oddly named. That's all I'll say, what do you think it's called? It's oddly named? Um, well, it's just, they don't do it right. It's in the wrong order. Oh, so it's Lost World, Jurassic Park? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Is it not at the beginning? Yeah. Oh, it's so confusing. The Lost World. All right, Joe. We got it out of the way. <laughs> Fuck that movie. <laughs> What's it got? Fitz Vaughn in it? Fuck it. Yeah. I said, you're gonna... Go He's... back to comedy. What are you doing in dramas? <laughs> <laughs> he said Raptors, baby. Raptors. Thor 3 Ragnarok? Does that count? Uh, you know, again, it's first round play, so I'll, I'll let things slide. But, uh, oh, I know, got some in reserve. The move, we'll this. save them up, because I'm okay. going to let that one go. Okay. We'll let, allow that, because I am excited about Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> 146 days <laughs> till it's released, and then people can say it in this game legit. Uh, all right, I'm going to go with um, Annie Hall. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, gee. Yeah. He just says some line about his mantra, and that's his whole part. Jacob. Independence Day. Mm-hmm. Good choice. Amy. Thor. <laughs> what? Yes. Are you extrapolating that because he's in the next Thor that he might have been in an earlier Thor? No, I said, Jenica, I want to go to my lifeline. Okay. <laughs> Jenica, what have you like? Uh, what have you got for Amy? Nine months. Nine months. All right. Filmed in this area. In, uh, I'm also in that movie. Ungayo's in nine months. Yeah. Oh. Cha-ching. Is that why you said it? Did you know that Ungayo was in that movie? Please, Ungayo please read it. I get like half a cent. As the fetus. Sean's friend number one. <laughs> Sean's do, friend number you one. You do have a lot of kids, so that makes sense. I'm Sean's friend number one. I only well, Sean, is kids. that Hugh Grant? Yeah. Is Sean? Or is no, J- Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff is Sean. Sean. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm his artistic. You were his friend. Uh, Art- artistic. <laughs> Do you think Jeff Goldblum was like at the height of his uh, s- sexual, like, like, wasn't he really in shape in that movie? Here's like, what crazy? I noticed on the set. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, uh, every movie star I saw has a gigantic head, like physically much bigger 
than everybody else's head. And I started to wonder, is my head even big enough to think about being in movies? Because... Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Tom Arnold has a giant head. Joan Cusack has a big fucking head. And I still love her. Oh, Those are the two movies. all the great Jeff, movie stars. Jeff Goldblum has a giant head. <laughs> the first two he Danny goes Glover's to. head is fucking huge. Johnny Depp looks like a fucking Muppet when you see him in real life. It's a tiny guy. Huge fucking head. So I don't it's, not, it's scientific. <laughs> Tom Arnold and Joan Cusack are the first two movie stars. They're in nine two. months. Oh, 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 yeah, try to hold it together. Oh, I, I thought that was some random I didn't get it either. I, I attacked you for the same reason, which makes Jacobs even stranger. We can all still be friends. <laughs> is it, uh, whose turn is it to pick a Jeff Oh, it's, it's me. It's, okay. uh, so I'm gonna go, fuck, I just had it. Uh, yep. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, oh, oh, here it is. Uh, 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 deep Cover. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. a shit. That's a good movie. It's 187 on a Yeah, cover. and you don't deep stop. Cover. Yeah. All right. Good job. <laughs> into the Night. The guy was going Into the Night. That's a good one. With David Bowie and Michelle Pfeiffer, directed by John Landis. There's no, like, bonus points for anything. <laughs> I know. I just like that to show off some shit sometimes. <laughs> but that is a good one. If people haven't ever seen that, that's a good movie. It's not bad. It's a little slow. Well, John Landis. It's interesting. It's got lots of cameos. David Bowie was great. I'm going to go with a movie Jeff Goldblum is in called... Mr. Frost. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Interesting. I, never, I don't think I've ever seen it. I think, <laughs> but I think, you know I think he turns into a snowman. Wait, that's Michael Keaton that turns into a snowman. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, wait, was he in it, though? Did he have a side? No, he's in a thing called Mr. Frost. It's not about a snowman. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was Jack Frost. That was Jack, Jack Frost. Frost. Okay. Jack Frost, okay. Yeah, that was Jack Frost, Jake. Your turn. It's Chinatown, Jake. Okay, I'm... I, I may or may not be bluffing, but I'm pretty thin, but I'm going to go with Earth You're going to go to your lifeline? No, but I'm going to go with Earth, Earth Girls Are Easy. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, he's a man. Why is that bluffing? Yeah. It's not bluffing. The, about that I'm kind of thin at this point. And oh. That, that part may or may not be bluffing, but it probably is. Not. All right. Earth Girls Are Easy. Amy, what happened to you? <laughs> what? Well, you used your lifeline. In the time since then, have you thought of I'm another gonna, one? I'm going to say... Mars Attacks. Oh, I like, I like your, that's smart, that's got a lot of people in it. You know what I'm you doing? You have a chance, you have a chance? Jeff Goldblum is not one of them, <laughs> but that was really... Are you sure? That was a good, you took a, you took a good shot, and thank you for being a great player and a great guest. <laughs> and a good friend. <laughs> you're Most all, important. You're Most all important. listening to me. <laughs> Carlos? I'm gonna go with The Fly. We already We're did that the one. Fly. That was the first one out of the jar. Fuck, I was somewhere else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then I'll do the, uh, uh, shit. I'll do, um, uh, The Hideaway. It's when, uh, the, he has a serial killer and he has, they, they do the same mimes. You remember that shit? That's an old school ass movie. <laughs> no, it's for real. Like, I'm not bullshitting. The Hideaway? Yeah, the serial killer is in his mind and he's like hiding his mind and fucking just starts turning it and he's is trying to kill his own the daughter. The Hideaway? It might be hide. I don't, hide I don't think, The Hideaway. No. Yeah, yeah, you mean like a hideaway key under a rock in the His dude under has a, a mat? I can't remember. I remember that he got. I think he got in a car accident with the dude or something like that. But their minds kind of melded or some shit like that. It was. It's like in the fucking early early nineties. It was like right. <laughs> after, it was like deep cover, like right after that. You know what? All I'm right. Fu- well, no one is objecting too strenuously. Uh, because I don't so. think anyone, everybody's just got their mouth open. Like, is this a real thing? I said House of D earlier. I know all these old dumbass movies. She didn't know what House of D was. That's David Duchovny directed House that of shit. D. Yeah, David Duchovny shit. He directed that. You know, she looked at me like, what the fuck is House of D? <laughs> I was like, it's a movie podcast, right? You're supposed to have this geek knowledge. Dude, and apparently you guys are fucking... Why aren't you sharing your cocaine? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> We've known each other for 36 hours now. I haven't seen Nair Bump. <laughs> yeah, you don't get a point for talking the longest. Just answer... <laughs> well, I tried, and you keep fucking giving me the rope the to hang myself. The hideaway. The hideaway. So, All right, well... Are we going to go with that? Good for you if you got that one past me. Wow. Yeah. I think you, I think you believe in it. <laughs> The Hideaway. Yeah. Gaia. The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Nice! <laughs> Big Boutte! Very good. It's oh, my God. It's not my planet, the monkey boy. Buckaroo Banzai. Why don't you give my jacket? Because you're perfect, Tommy. Well, that's true. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to say it right, and I, you know, I'm, I, I think I, a young... I think I put up a good fight if Aaron, I fail. Ellen Barker. It's fly, fly. It's fly. The what? Is that what you were gonna say? The fly? No. (laughs) 
Independence Day Resurgence. Is that the way it's, is that what it was called? Yeah. All right. Is he in it? Yeah, he's in it. <laughs> That's why I said it. But I didn't know fucking resurgence is such a, like, what does that even mean? Animus. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, leaving the theater. I was like, Independence Day Animus. I is what I'd call it. I think he was in a movie called The Great White Hype. Yes. Okay. People have your back on that, so you get that one. It was Peter Berg and somebody else. Carlos. Uh, Lifeline. Oh, of course, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Boom, oh, yeah. On yes. I'm so glad I thought of that. That's a good one. <laughs> I was just so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ngayo. Sheila. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. No. What? Oh. Jeff Goldblum. No, no he's, he's not. not. You probably saw the trailer for Thor Ragnarok yeah. before you saw Guardians. And it all oh. mind blended into your mind blend. Oh. So, so you got him out? Did you get him out? That's dope as shit. Wait, what? He's in a scene in the credits? He's in the credits. In a scene. He's in one of those circles. Oh, in the Easter eggs at the end. He's one of the circles in the middle. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, she did! Woo! Yeah. She I redeemed herself. She redeemed herself. I'm gonna say the name of a movie that he was in that was uh, took place at a uh, at a small uh, newspaper, like maybe it was a college newspaper called Between the Lines. Between the Lines. What? Yeah, it's legit. Jacob. <laughs> the guy who thought of another one. Who's still in it? Huh? Who's still in it? You, all four of us. Everyone's up for Amy. Sorry. Yeah, you didn't have to say it that me, way. Not all, yeah. Three of these things, bro. <laughs> you got another one? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm t- I might have to go to Lifeline, but wait a second. Wait, you got a Lifeline and you're sitting there making us wait? Yeah. Go to your I, Lifeline. I want to save it. Use it. Cause this, what, Three seconds then. Two, one. Well, that's impossible. Um, <laughs> go to your Lifeline. All right. Or Cody. pass or lose. Like Cody or Jenny. <laughs> What do you got? Yeah, there's a couple of them over there. Just yeah, Cody, Jenny, what do you got? Let's Wait, do it. Wait, if you pick two name tags, no, you no, get there, two there's two on one. No, there's that's two on one name tag here. Yeah, that's, I'm ignoring that's the loophole he's trying to use, but I don't care. No, just, I'm not using I'm only using one. But everybody gets that, a lifeline. Go, what's the answer? What's the li- my lifeline? Go. Oh, they don't have anything. <laughs> Well, no, I didn't ask the. I didn't. I didn't ask the other. You didn't ask the girl. No, I didn't ask her. Just for. Yeah, that's that's okay. <laughs> you didn't pick either. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I told him he could only pick one of the two name yeah, tags because yeah. that's that's only fair. Yeah. I picked, she has one. Pick the wrong man. one. She's got one, but it's too late now. So keep it to yourself, Edith. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. What do you wait for? What? You're okay. out. Okay. Yeah, it's over. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, dude. I'm gonna go with Life Aquatic of Steve Zizou. Yeah. Yes. The Big Chill. Woo! Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a, gotta... that's a big one. Damn. This one's also gonna blow your minds. Tombstone. No. Oh. I stopped myself. Oh, 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 I stopped myself. Silver fucking Rada. Yeah. Silver Rada. Yeah. He had the crazy sideburns. What was the and first guy? You stopped yourself, so I didn't know what the first movie was. What was I it? almost said Tombstone. Oh. Because that's got everybody I, in it, too. I only heard 99% of that. It's so Silverado. Silverado. With the young Kevin Costner. Right? All right, Carlos, you done? Uh, I'm going to go with... Uh, shit. He has a cameo in something. I've just seen it. I bet he does. Damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The end credits of Volume 2 of Guardians. <laughs> Uh, he's also in um, shit, man. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm done. Oh, he's in The Fly too. Because there's a picture of yeah, yeah. There's a picture of his dad. He's the dad. Boom. <laughs> he's in it. It's credited. He gets paid. Same with Chris. Yeah. 
right? I'm gonna state my case. I know. That's a tough one. What in the credits is like picture of Jeff Goldblum well, like, I mean, by Jeff Goldblum. There's a still photo of him in the movie. Well, I think there's hey, a look, very good Rico chance. Palazzo. I think there's a very good chance you see a picture of him for some reason, and they could get the rights to that. I don't know if he's credited in the movie, but I'm gonna give it to you because. I'm trying for you. Because, but, you know, I'm already, you know, you already probably don't deserve to win because of that hideaway <laughs> shit. Yeah. I want to. Well, hideaway. <laughs> Tin speed and brown shoe. Television show. I know. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. Oh, yeah, I could. I, what? What do you. Uh, I'm doing a bottle horse. I'm doing a horse. I'm doing a high ass. I'm doing a house. It's game now. It's game, it's game time. We gotta go, you guys. What? I mean, we gotta, the show's gotta wrap up soon, oh, so. Okay, fuck. Uh, a League of Their Own. I don't fucking know. No, <laughs> that's his wife, Gina Davis. Or his ex wife. <laughs> his ex wife, yeah. I like, a, I like a quiz game where everyone's like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the fuck are you all over me about this shit for? <laughs> what the hell is happening? I didn't need this today. I did not need it today. <laughs> so, all that sweaty ass. So I'm gonna. Uh, what? Hang on a second. I'll, I'll decide who wins. And I, <laughs> I, I, I gotta see if I'm gonna beat you. Okay, alright. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah. Uh, Suckers. <laughs> they go, oh. I don't. It, 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 I don't, I don't he know. might not be in it. <laughs> I, I don't. JFK. <laughs> I just thought another Wes Anderson might, been, you know, might make sense. Was he in there? I don't know yeah, if he yeah. is or not. So let's say it. Okay. It's official. Carlos is our winner today. Yes. Got it for you. What other ones? What did, what, you were trying to tell me one, and I couldn't read your lips. The Hideaway 2. <laughs> where's the Mordecai. person? Where's this uh, person you're playing for here? The Gremlins uh, name tag. Boom! This guy. Guillermo's. Guillermo's. Where are you at? Where you at, man? Come on down to get all your prizes. You might want to bring a friend. There's a lot of stuff to carry. You came back to win? Just yeah, uh, yeah. that's pretty impressive, though. Tell you. Just any time. Uh, it was uh, like the Patriots in the in the out of the Falcons. Is that you? That's you. Kind of come back. Oh, it's your husband. Oh, okay. You, you don't have to come down, dude. If she can, if she can handle it. Congratulations. Yay! Do you want your poster back? They're very heavy. And a Batman 66 Funko. And a lunchbox and some comic books and some shit. Bag of weed. You got everything. You got a butt for <laughs> Yay! All right, Jacob, uh, what do you got to plug, buddy? I really don't have anything to plug right now. Just, I got some stuff coming up, but I don't want to. What's that on the Netflix? Flying high on the Netflix? What does that mean? I'd like, have, I'd, if I were you, I'd, have, I'd say you have something that you want to plug yeah, instead okay. of just, like, well, just yeah. tossing away the moment and we took the moment and then you didn't do anything with it. Just say something. That, okay, like, well, it's comedy knockout on True TV I wrote on that show. Yay! <laughs> Amy, do you have anything to plug? God damn it! Yes, uh, if you live in Portland, I'll be there in a couple weeks with Adam Conover and Helium. Uh, and also, uh, this Wednesday, I am dropping my brand new podcast, Who's Your God, where we interview comedians about their religious beliefs. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. That's a really good idea. Uh, so follow me yeah. uh, at Amy Miller on Twitter or follow Who's Your God cast on Twitter. And uh, Wednesday, we have our first episode. Will you be on it? Uh, I don't uh, speak about that uh, publicly. It's okay. private. It's, right. it's special. It's for me. Sounds like a yes. <laughs> but I do, I do need a place to recruit more people <laughs> for for my cult. So I will happily be on the show. Where's a big name tag I can hit? Oh, there it is. Miss. Oh shit. Did I hit somebody behind it? I'm sorry. <laughs> There's Apologies. Two weeks. Carlos Rodriguez. Uh, yeah, you can catch me at uh, Carlos Comedy um, on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I'll, oh, shit. Um, August 12th, That's I'll be with... That's what I was with, supposed uh, to do. I'm sorry. That it didn't I'll be with uh, Brent Ernst and uh, P.G. Ovine in, uh, in New Jersey at the House of Independence in Ashbury, New Jersey. It's Donut Madness. 
right. Pungayo. Uh, June 23rd, 24th, Salt Lake City with Brian Pasane and Wise Guys. J- Mid-July, 14th to the 16th, just outside of Bend, Oregon at the Croft Fest. Check my podcast on CannabisRadio.com called Rolling with Pungayo and buy my CD outside after the show. <laughs> he holds up this gigantic name tag, tries to catch it with his hand. Fucking nips it right into the carpeting, which I'm sure isn't gross at all here at a comedy club. <laughs> and takes a bite <laughs> like a champ, like a fucking champ. <laughs> it's like a human vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Why do people do that? Don't move the sign away. <laughs> this one looks amazing. Uh, it's got, it's got like s'mores. s'mores on top of it. It's a s'mores donut, don't throw that. Fuck it, somebody should eat it. Right. There she goes, right. Doug has a heart. Did you do your plugs in Guy? Um, January, uh, June 23rd and 24th at Wise Guys in Salt Lake City. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. To the I remember the now. <laughs> I remember. Buy my CDs, listen to my podcast. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, Jacob has something else to say. The movie's called Hideaway. I mean, I mean Google it. It's called Hideaway. Not Did the you? Hideaway. But I feel like if you're Mexican, you could do The Hideaway, Hideaway, The Hideaways. Racial Hideaways. Animals. El, 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 yeah, El Hideaway. The racial Animal, whatever you call me. Hideaway. Racial right. Animal. <laughs> like, I said, like I said, I wasn't worried about it. It was another waste of time. And uh, thank you guys so much for being here. One more time for all of my guests. Thank you. And Guy Rodriguez, Jacob Siroff, and Amy Miller. Yeah, okay, not right now, dude. I'm still doing a podcast. <laughs> I gotta do the little wrap up thing here. And I'm gonna give both of those name tags their, uh, I'm gonna say they're shitheads because they, uh, they deserve it. Yeah. They were probably just sitting back there the whole time confident that they were going to win. You'll ne- you're never going to be madder than that. If you ever see that movie, The Hideaway, excuse me, Hideaway, you're just going to be pissed at it the entire time. Oh, I had one more plug I wanted to say about me, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, yeah, you already know about tomorrow. I'm doing stand-up at uh, the Comedy Connection in Providence on Monday, June 19th. Thank you to Cobb's Comedy Club. Thank you to all you guys for coming out this afternoon and uh, being such a fun crowd. And uh, as always, uh, depression is a shithead. They've got a scary laugh. Um, Rick Collerick is a shithead. Okay, we got seven or eight people here that hate him and one guy who said, fuck that motherfucker. I don't know what that's about. Oh, they didn't even write down two shitheads. <laughs> this one is really cool though, you guys. I really, uh, I really like this one. I'm gonna keep this one. I know I don't normally do that. And, um, uh, final Lily. Lyft drivers who turn the wrong way and make your friends late to the show. Oh, and anyone in politics named Huckabee is a shit. Once again, thanks to Dollar Shave Club for pitching in and sponsoring on today's episode. For a great shave and a great price, join Dollar Shave Club. New members get their first month of executive razor and a tube of Dr. Carver's shave butter for only $5 with free shipping. After that, razors are just a few bucks a month. That's a $15 value for only 5 bucks. Get yours at dollarshaveclub.com slash Doug. Another talkie Eyes of gold is viewing prowess Makes him cocky There's no room in his heart